I'm Leanne Voigt. I work in Microsoft Learning, and I am a market researcher. How did you learn about knowledge advisors? I think that Microsoft was at the beginning of a journey of trying to discover its own identity around satisfaction and was sort of in the mode of should we build it or should we uh, you know, buy it, so to speak, and looked around and found that knowledge advisors um, had lovely bones, if you would, and uh, wanted to, to partner with them in the closest sense of the word partnership in building what we needed in order to measure that journey. And so how one heard about the other, I'm not quite sure, but I know that uh, we're going on 10 years. And so it must have been when um, Knowledge Advisors was uh, early in its journey and when we were early in our journey about how we really wanted to come across with customer satisfaction. Microsoft has worked with Knowledge Advisors for upwards of 10 years, and that's been in an ever more complex capacity. So I believe that we began by simply saying passively, I think we ought to work on the, the content of our training curriculum. Well, let's ask the trainers. So knowledge advisors, how do we do that? How do we just sort of passively deploy uh, surveys among our trainers? And then, wow, wouldn't it be a great idea to do that directly for the students as well and ask them about the content quality of our curriculum? Knowledge advisors, how do we do that? And then to go further into deploying that with our partners and actually helping our partners schedule classes through uh, with, uh, with Microsoft. You know, knowledge advisors help us grow through that. And then as our journey around customer satisfaction got more and more defined, more clear, it became obvious that we were going to need to, to, if it's on our scorecard, it needed to be on the scorecard of our partners. And so we needed to embed that into our partner's DNA. Knowledge advisors, how do we do that? And so through that, we've grown up, we've grown closer, and you've grown closer into the heart of our business. Our initial measurement challenge was in determining how best to use the massive amount of data that we were that we were obtaining. We knew that we needed to collect data. And we were collecting data because we knew we needed to. And so we collected data from the trainers and from the students and from our partners and on every class in every way. And so one of the bigger challenges we had was determining how in the world to use all of that data and trended over time and in every region of the world. And at one point, we took a step back and realized what we actually had, if you stripped out the content of you know, customer satisfaction surveys, you had counting noses, you had volume data. And so a measurement challenge that we had was to turn that massive amount of, of customer satisfaction into something we didn't have, which were metrics on our, the health of our channel. And so just knowing what are the classes that are being taught more frequently or less frequently, showing migration or the lifespan of a product, if you will, knowing um, what regions need maybe um, some more of an investment in terms of resources, knowing what partners um, are starting to maybe not pass that bar of quality that we have set for them. So the turning the massive amount of data into something that could not only inform our customer satisfaction journey, but also give us um, the, the health of our learning channel. Was, uh, that was a challenge. So what was your measurement moment? Um, that moment when someone outside of your group was able to use the information that you, you've been collecting? You know, there was sort of a magic moment when it was no longer just Microsoft Learning that knew the vast wealth of data that we had and the value of that. At one point, we were introduced to the people in, in charge of our software assurance program. This is a program that ties um, us closer to our the largest of our customers, our enterprise customers, uh, giving them you know more of a, that customer relationship. As part of that, 
they investigated whether or not to give training vouchers to those enterprise customers to have free training. And they were wondering whether it was worth the investment, and so we suggested a trial. And so they gave us training vouchers, and then we were able, through metrics that matter, to tell them whether or not that landed. They knew not only the amount that they'd spent on the vouchers, they knew whether those vouchers were used in what region of the world, on what technology the, the training was given. They knew from the standpoint of that enterprise customer what the quality of that course was. They knew that the incremental satisfaction um, driven into the relationship with that enterprise customer as a result of a successful training. And we were able to showcase that through the data from Metrics That Matter. And as a result of that, we've been able, I see I think we're in our eighth, maybe ninth year, eighth year of uh, millions of dollars worth of training vouchers that these business groups that have no relationship to Microsoft Learning. We're talking Office, we're talking Windows, we're talking Windows Server. They, they're not doing it because they like us. They're doing it because they see a clear return on value that we're able to prove through metrics that matter. So what advice would you give to clients and those who are maybe considering becoming clients about their measurement journey? Well, from what I've heard today, I think that the, the, the largest piece of advice anyone can give someone starting their measurement journey is simply to start that measurement journey. Um, I can go one step beyond that, though, and uh, encourage people starting this journey to think about what, what's at the heart of it. With us, it's customer satisfaction and probably with most of the people that, that, uh, that KA comes in contact with. Customer satisfaction is at the center of everything we do. And so measuring satisfaction with Microsoft Learning's um, main product, our, our training, our curriculum, it, it's intrinsic to us. And it makes us want to ask the questions that I would encourage others to ask, which is, uh, how do you want to show up? How do you want to show up in the marketplace? Where are you now? And where do you want to be? And what's going to get you there? I mean, especially when it comes to training, something that can change people's lives, they, that can improve their lives. You owe it to yourself to be satisfying that customer even more so than in the other parts of, of your company, the other parts of your industry. and so. Examining what it is that, where you are and where you want to be. With us, there's the number. It's our net satisfaction number. And we can drop that number and everybody's head turns at Microsoft. And if, uh, if I can draw the analogy, it's like uh, I could insert the word forecast. You know, if I were to walk into my boss's boss's staff meeting and say, we missed our forecast by 5%. We were expected to go up and we've declined. Then, you know, jaws would drop, people would leap up, you know, mitigation plans would be in place, and, you know, people would be scattering and in trying to do, trying to move what mountain do we need to move, you know, what plan do we need in place. By this time, you know, this coming quarter, this will be fixed. It's the same thing with that number for net satisfaction at Microsoft. And so we know where we are, we know where we want to be, we know every aspect of the business that we need to touch in order to get there. And when it's not there, we know why. We can delve into it through the metrics that matter data, um, through, through other indices that we have. And so that metrics journey is completely around what's important to you. If with us is customer satisfaction, and so everything is around that. If you know what your metric is and you know where you want to show up in the marketplace, the rest of that measurement journey becomes easy. Knowledge advisors can provide the technology, consulting, and performance solutions to help get you started today. Simply visit our website at www.knowledgeadvisors.com 